This episode of D News is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. People who somehow in this day and age still don't believe in evolution like to argue that we're too complex to share a common ancestor with single cell organisms. Show me the evidence, they cry. Well, okay, here it is. <laughs> Hi there, my fellow complex organisms. Julian here for D News. Researchers at the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Biology and Awesome Names in Germany recently watched organisms make the transition from independent single cells to sustainable multicellular life forms in real time. Pseudomonas fluorescens are bacteria that usually grow independently from each other, but sometimes they mutate and produce a glue that causes them to stick together. When they do that, they form mats at the surface of the fluids they're grown in in the lab. This gives them better access to oxygen at the surface and lets them thrive. But once they form a mat, they give the bacteria that don't make the glue a platform. And because they aren't wasting energy, the non-sticky pseudomonas outcompete their brethren and eventually break the mat. Thanks to the cheats at the top that are hogging all the energy without giving back, the whole thing sinks and they all die. And I can hear the flame war starting in the comments already, but there's no political metaphor here, guys. It's just some bacteria in a tube. Paul Rainey, who led the study, wanted to see if there was a way that the mats could become self-sustaining instead of just dying off when they became overburdened. He allowed them to grow under two circumstances, one where the cheats were removed, and the other where the cheats were allowed to stay and became the genesis of the next wave of glue-making bacteria. Both scenarios ended up causing life cycles of mat-forming P. fluorescence. But the really interesting thing is, when they were examined, the mats in both cases, the individual cells were working together and were more fit as a whole than they would be individually. The same way you and your stomach only survive when working together instead of being separate and gross and just a stomach flopping around, that'd be terrible. Even the dirty, dirty cheats at the top were contributing to the fitness of the mat as a whole. And this is the complete opposite of what happens in group projects in school. It was the beginning of multicellular cooperative life. It's evolution in real time, right in front of your face. How cool is that? If you still need proof that Darwin is a boss, Lacey and Katie Wayne have a video on that right over here. And have you witnessed any scientific principles come to life in front of you? Well, let us know in the comments, and I'll see you next time on D News.